Well, man. Well, you know. What? Why is it keeping? Okay, let me just turn that down. Okay, okay, I'm 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 back, everybody. I'm back. Listen, listen. I I want you guys to listen and pay attention, man. You, you, yes, you, right there, you. Oh, hold on, right quick. Do I have my? Oh, I have my back scratcher. What is the hell is my back scratcher? Back scratcher. Okay, I I, I feel, I feel kind of, feel kind of naked without my back scratcher. I don't want to scratch my back. Anyway, anyway, you, you, yes, you. Ryan Little. <laughs> you sitting at home. You had a dead end job. All of a sudden, you 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 see this YouTube video, Instagram, uh, video or picture. And someone comes on and say, hey, why don't you get into the field of trucking? This is where you can come and make about 65K a year. Seven, up to, now here's key word, up to 75K a year. Hey, why don't you just uh, come join our uh, system and we'll help you get your license so that you could come on and drive for us. But see what they don't tell you, you know, you, you sitting there, you watching, you all wide eyed. And again, you're at a dead end job. Let's be honest. You, you said to yourself like, yeah, I need to make a change. Uh, Ain't nowhere that's gonna pay me this kind of money that 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 trucking is offering me. And here's somebody on YouTube, whether being the company or somebody that's referring the company or somebody that's promoting the company, coming to tell you that trucking is where you need to be. Now, don't get me wrong, there's people coming into the industry every day. I got, I, I'm in countless of Facebook groups with countless of people that's coming in there either saying one or two things. They're either passing their permits or they got their CDLs. It is CDL without the S, all right? You only got one. Now, don't get me wrong, back in the day, you know, I, I I wasn't at a dead end job, but driving was something that I enjoyed doing. And back then I was like, hey, I could see the world and uh, and I could make money doing it. Right. Right. <sighs> so wrong. So wrong. Forget about it. So wrong. So. I linked up and I was I, 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 I linked up and, and found this guy on YouTube and he just recently said, yo, I quit trucking and here's why. And I said to myself that I, I should feature this guy and uh, let you guys hear his story while I'm reacting to it. Because you, yes, you that's sitting at home at a dead end job, you you think it to yourself that hey, trucking is the way to go. But um, let's see if trucking is really the way to go. Shout out to my guy, uh, trucking seriously. That's his uh, YouTube channel. You can go and check him out. Trucking Seriously. Um, he made a video called Why I Quit Trucking. Um, 
Why don't you come in trucking seriously and uh, tell the people what's up? You ever make a YouTube channel about your job, but the whole time you're actually pretty tired of the job, and so you quit the job, and that's great, and you're having a great time being unemployed, hanging out, but now you don't have any content to upload to your YouTube channel? Now hold that thought. Now there's been plenty of drivers that has <laughs> that has YouTube channels and then they did bail out of uh they did bail out of trucking only to try to do YouTube full time only to find out that because of the trucking content that they was given was the reason why people was watching them in the first place. Um now I'm not going to mention any YouTubers. There's there's a few YouTubers that has made the transition from trucking into YouTube full time, but then there has been some YouTubers that tried to do this YouTube thing full time only to revert back into the truck because they didn't have no content. They tried to do everything from reaction videos to uh to podcasting to uh interviews and stuff like that but people wasn't watching them because the content that they was bringing in the forefront which was trucking same thing that that, that happened to me i mean you know i i tried to flip-flop my channel a little bit you know, I tried to do, you know, try to do this and see how that works and do this and see how that works. But of course, I reverted right back to what I am good at, and that's trucking content. And that's what some of you people are looking for. All right. Content to upload. Um, here's some of the things that I'm going to upload soon. Thank you for hitting the subscribe button and the nice comments. So definitely go over to um, Trucking Seriously. Here we go. PR driver for a little over three years. I started in March of 2018, and I was a full-time trucker all the way through until June 2021. That's 39 months. Write that down. Full-time in the OTR sector means roughly every other weekend at home, plus a week or two of vacation if you're lucky. I also had to take a couple months off due to an injury. Now, OTR drivers, and this is, come, this is coming from majority of the trucking companies, all right? They require you, OTR driving, they require you to stay out 14 days to accumulate one day off okay or maybe two days off i know for every week that you're out you accumulate one day off not including your mandatory 34 hour reset this is just for your day off so otr driving if you coming into the trucking industry as a new jack of course you're gonna have to go out otr you're gonna have to be away for about 14 days before you can actually request to come back home all right to have a couple of days off now 14 days there's 30 days in a month all right there's 30 days in a month. You break that down, that's 15 days. And technically, that's like two weeks. So you will be taking your off days in the following month. All right? Let's break that down. You come home, and you only, you, you only home for two days, whether it's throughout the week or throughout the weekend. And then you're back on the road for another 14 days. And then you get another two days off. That's two days off is only four days out of the month versus that versus the standard uh, two, four, six, eight days 
that you would normally get if you was to do a normal nine to five or a normal job that you're off for two days. Don't think that you're going to come into this industry thinking, hey, I'm going to go in here and do drive for a week and then come back home. You got to you got to get into that sector of trucking, which is regional home every week. All right. But as far as OTR, which majority of you is going to get into when you come into this industry, just realize that you're going to be out for a couple of weeks. And in order to get your home time, you got to let your dispatcher, fleet manager, low planner or whoever knows a week or two in advance. So let's say you start driving on the first you drive all the way up to the, you got to let them know on the first that you want to take your home time two weeks from the first. So that first week, two weeks from that is the, it's the middle of the month. And then you get your two days off. Remember that. Now let's be generous and say that altogether I was home for a total of eight months. That leaves me with 31 months spent entirely in the truck. Now he says that he was, he was, he, he was out for 39 months for the, for his duration of his trucking career. He, out of that 39 months, he was only, he, he was only home for eight months. And he basically, the, the rest of it was 31 months in the truck. That's something that you going to have to get used to. Now, see, from him sitting there letting you know, it, it, it kind of hits hard. It's, it it kind of hits home like, God damn, 30, 31 months in the truck? Damn. Entirely in the truck. That's equal to 930 days or 22,320 hours. Now, obviously, I was asleep for about a third of those hours, and thanks to the DOT's hours of service regulations, I would usually get one government-mandated rest day per week. But the vast majority of all that downtime happened inside the truck usually at a gas station in the middle of nowhere, hundreds of miles from everyone I love, marinating in exhaust fumes. That's not something I would do voluntarily. So it's something that nobody would do voluntarily. <laughs> I, you know, I mean, only, only a handful of people will actually say, yo, I, I want to come into the truck and I want to live my life pneumatic and live my life in the truck. But for a person that's not used to it, fuel stop, I mean, uh, fuel stops, the fuel stops, gravel lots, the gravel lots. I mean, last night I was parked in a, what's that place called? Love Shack or whatever, and had to pay $10 for parking. So in my opinion, that still counts as being at work. But of course it was all worth it because I got paid the big bucks, right? Well, let's take a look at my actual earnings based on my actual W-2s. In 2018, I made about $30,000. In 2019, I made $50,680. In 2020, I made $78,982. And in 2021, I made $14,730 plus another $23,600 for a total of $38,330. That's on average between 50 and up to 78. So you could say that 2020 was a good year for him. It's a total of $197,992. Importantly, this is before taxes. Now we can figure out my average pay rate. Just take $197,992 divided by 22,320 hours, and what do you get? 
$8.87 per hour. Oh, oh, nasty, nasty. If somebody was to tell you that you will make $8.87 an hour for three, what do you say, three years, for four years, you would be like, bro, I'm not doing that. But see, in the trucking field, they 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 don't break down how much you will make an hour. And I, I I appreciate this guy doing what he did to break it down for the hourly rate. All right. So for the three years, three for the three, and I'm saying three years that he driven for, you know, throughout his career, he made six figures. But divide that between the hours that he's that that he was out, he only made eight dollars and eighty seven cent an hour. Crazy, right? Somebody was it, now the same people that's on YouTube, the same trucking company that says, "Hey, you, yes, you, right there, you, come into the wonderful world of trucking where you can make up to eighty seven or uh, seventy or sixty thousand dollars a year all right all you got to do is just give up uh just, just sacrifice your family sacrifice your your life and and come and stay in the truck for 31 months at a time If you've ever wondered why trucking companies love to pay drivers in cents per mile, there's your answer. In annual terms, the pay isn't bad, but in hourly terms, you're making less than 60% of what you'd be making for working your ass off in one of Jeff's famous hell cubes. Heck, even if it paid $20 an hour, that's still not that great in my opinion for a job that demands total sobriety, insane work hours, and in a sector that accounts for over 40% of workplace fatalities. Now, you would think about that. Think about that. $8 and, what do you say, $0.87 cent an hour in, in a high-stress high volatile industry and what i mean by high stress it, it is you, you you're stressed out to get the load there on time you stressed out while you're driving in traffic you stressed out with the shippers and receivers now mind you you don't get paid while you're waiting at the shippers and receivers because you got to at least give up two hours of your time to the shippers and receivers sometimes they 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 held they hold you up for even longer than that and then you got to fight for that additional money right so it it's even it's 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 even less than that when you think about it all this isn't a new revelation or anything most OTR drivers are well aware that they're not getting paid enough for the time that they're putting in. But if you have severe social anxiety and a liberal arts degree, trucking can be okay compared to some of the alternatives. After all, it allows you to compress 10 years of minimum wage 40 hour work weeks into just three. And if you have a place to sleep during your home time, you can save a fortune on housing expenses. But after three years of trucking, I'm here to tell you, OTR gets real old real fast. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You gonna <clears throat> you you definitely gonna you definitely gonna feel it. You definitely gonna feel it because I, I did it. Don't get me wrong. For the first year I, I didn't go home for like six or seven months at a time, but that was because I wanted my experience. But after after I got with the other company and got regional and I started going home every week. Oh, hell yeah. It, it was no more OTR for me. I want to be home every week. I want to get out of the truck. I want to reset. I want to. <gasps> that's what I want to do. But that, I mean, look, if you guys, again, if you don't have no responsibilities, 
or anything like that, then OTR probably will work for you. But just like my man Trucking Seriously says, it gets old really quick. You can't hang out with your friends. You can't participate in activities. You have to put on an entire outfit every morning before you can go inside and use the bathroom. When you're a trucker, trucking is your whole life. And that's pretty much why I quit. If it paid more or if it took up a smaller percentage of my life, I could have stuck it out longer. And of course, I could go out and get a local home daily trucking job tomorrow if I really wanted one. But local jobs are stressful. There's more stops, more traffic, and a lot more risk. Plus, you have to commute from your house to the trucking terminal every day. And you have to find a house to live in. I'd love it if there was a way to do part-time OTR, where I could pick and choose which weeks I wanted to be out on the road without having to take on all of the costs and headaches and liabilities of that. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Not gonna happen, my G. Not gonna happen. Ain't no way that OTR could be part-time. Not in these times. Not in these times. Um, what you're going to have to do, new driver, is when you come into the industry, you, you, you're going to have to fine-tune what you're looking for and what you want. Just know that in the beginning, all right, in the beginning, you're gonna have to go out with a. You're gonna have to go out with the uh, trainer. You're gonna have to train for about a couple of weeks before you actually get into the truck by yourself. Now, when you get into the truck by yourself, then you still gonna have to fine tune and get a repertoire with your fleet manager. So if you're that type of person that hey, I want to go home. Get it in with your fleet manager so that you'll know that you'll be able to go home when it's time to go home. Again, this is the only industry where you work a week, you get a day. You work two weeks, you get two days. You get a mandatory 34 at the end of your 70. I made a video. I made plenty of videos in the past that's saying about your hours of service that 11 hour that that 11 hour right there i said it once i said it again it's not yours it's the company's the company wants you to run that entire 11 hours now the 10 and the 34 they don't care what you do on that but then again you you you're you're stuck in a you're stuck in a truck stop where you in timbuktu somewhere and you can't go nowhere so what's the point you can't go nowhere because you have to reset your clock but you can't go nowhere because you in Timbuktu and you don't know where to go you you in a strange city strange state rural areas or whatever who knows but if you guys want to, you know, if you guys want to go over to Trucking Seriously's channel, he really got some good content over there. Um, the top 10 worst things about trucking. That's a good video. Um, and again, you know, I like this guy. I'm subscribed to him. And I hope you guys go over there and subscribe to him, too. Uh, if you're a new driver, he has plenty of good content for uh, new drivers trucking seriously man that's what's up that's what's up think about it eight dollars and 87 cent an hour for three three years think about it all right well that's gonna do it for me for the uh commentary for the night man thank you very much for watching my name's lockout man and i am here for the new drivers yo if you have any questions or if you want to pick my brain or anything like that get at me in the comments below or hit me up in the gmail that's lockout man podcast at gmail.com see me on tiktok or instagram that's my social media outlets um again uh, head over to Trucking Seriously. Uh, subscribe to him. Uh, I don't think he's no longer trucking, but 
the content that he do have while he was trucking is very good and you might want to check him out all right until next time uh that's it you watched up to this part right here if i pres uh, if i provide something of value for you guys man man oh man hit that like button that's it if i get about 25 views or something like that give me about 15 likes if 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 this is valuable to you all right that if it's only valuable to you hit that like button for me it's free and it helps out the it, it helps out not only the channel but it helps out the video all right you guys take it easy y'all have a blessed night and i'll come back at you with another video peace Brian Little. <laughs>